Awesome. Jeez. So it's just, I was kind of baffled. I was, I was testing out like the calendar and, and the reminders and the confirmation emails. That's where we're at last time is the yeah. calendar. Okay. So I, got, I have the calendar synced up and such. That's, I think that's all a go. And then I was, I was just playing around. I was clicking on my own calendar and scheduling calls and such. Just Did you that. integrate it with your Google calendar at all? Or do you use yes. Google? Yeah, I, well, I awesome. just got a Google calendar and I integrated it. Awesome, awesome, and awesome. So it's it's kind of nice that uh, you know, I click on my desktop to schedule a, a fake uh, or test mm -hmm. uh, call and it pops up on my phone about five seconds later, which is really nice. What does Google or Kartra? Uh, I guess they both do. I think it'll, it'll pop up. It'll give me an email. Oh yeah, you'll get, the, you'll get the email notification. Yeah, I get the email notification, and then it will pop up on my calendar. Yeah, which is yeah. pretty slick. Which yeah, I like man. that a lot. Yeah, pop up on your Google Calendar, right? Yes. 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 For sure. That's what I I use it for. So I I mainly use it for yes. that one reason. I integrate it, I should say, for that main reason for the notification yep. from Google. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then Karcher was, will send you a notification via email when the, when the actual call is booked, yep. but they don't send you a notification when that call is coming up. Okay. Yeah. So I use yep. Google to notify me on that. Yep. Yeah. That makes perfect. sense. Perfect, man. Look at you, man. So, that email looks good. So, you know, I was, I was playing around with this. And oh, I, I, love actually, it. I actually just, uh, um, I was kind of concerned cause they were not uh, coming to me like the, the confirmation email and the reminder email. Okay, yeah, yeah. So There's a setting went, in Kartra that you got to change. Well, I, I went to uh, my junk email. <laughs> oh, you found it there? And they were in my junk email. Mm, mm. So with so now that you experience that, Kartra, one thing that they do have is they have a very, very, very high high inbox rate. So when it comes to mm -hmm. all email providers, there's many different email providers, and, and they're all graded. They're all graded on, on deliverability. Kartra okay. is like way up there. Kartra is like top five out of every provider okay. when it comes to that deliverability hitting the inbox. But every mm -hmm. now and then you'll have it hit the spam. Okay. And so now that you experience that, what I would do is I would maybe just update your thank you page. Maybe on the thank you page, say, hey, I just sent you the email. Maybe just write it in text. Yes. You know, check but, the spam check folder. Check spam just in case. And maybe even, even say it on that thank you page. Maybe write the title of the email. Yep. You know, that way they can check for spam or they could check in their inbox, but they'll know the title of the email and they can search it that way. I would write something on that thank you page. Okay. I'll yeah. put a note down there for that. Yeah, for sure. Um, junk email setting, wherever it is. Okay. All right. We can figure that out. And then let me see. So I think that one came through just fine. Yeah, that was the uh, call confirmed. All confirmed. Awesome. Okay. That one's all just fine there, it looks like. Looks good, man. Looks good. I love it. All right. And then what was the do, 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 this one? For some reason, I can't. Can I, I try to fix this over here, <laughs> but won't let, I can't fix it for some reason or another. How it looks to like yeah. how it, just space in between there. The space in between. <coughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So let's, this yeah, we can take a look at that for sure. Try to figure that out. So I guess we can try that first. And and then, oh yeah, this part up here too. The schedule. Okay, yeah, let's, there let's we go. go take, let's, let's edit see, that. Is that the reminder one? Yes, the reminder. Okay. Let's go see if we can edit that. And you know what? That would actually be, there's two places that email could be coming from. I only do it in one place, which is in the calendar. Okay. So that home inspection call in one hour, that's the reminder email. So that email is coming from the calendar. It's okay. not coming from the form. Okay. So go back to Kartra real quick. You're in the form. So this is one place where the welcome, where the booking confirmation email, the first initial email can come from the form, but I don't have it come from here. So let's, let's just double check yours. Hit save okay. and next. Let's look at the, um, okay, hit save and next. It's the actual, uh, yeah, see, so you don't have it there. Perfect. So when you're setting up forms, a form would go on a landing page and a form would go on a calendar. Mm -hmm. And so as we're right here in the welcome message spot, always make sure that that's turned off. Make sure that you, okay. you do not send it from here. 
because if it's a normal landing page, I have it sent through the sequence. But okay. if it's a calendar form, I have that first email, the booking confirmation email, for example, I have that going out through the calendar. So it's either going to be the sequence where this welcome message goes out through on a normal landing page or on the calendar, it's in the calendar. All right. So go ahead and hit save and next and just go through the follow through with that. Yep. That's perfect. Goes on that list. Okay, cool. So now let's go into the, into my calendars. That's where that, right. those, those two emails are, are coming from the booking confirmation and the reminder in one hour. There's so a let's calendar. look at these ones. Let's go edit here. Edit that. So I'm starting to get a little more of a handle on all this. Good, man. Good. Stuff, which is nice. Playing around with it here and there. And, good. Uh, and try to watch the replays of the trainings if you, if you can. Yeah, I guess I scheduled a time of that call, I guess, but... Uh, that's okay. I got I got the the man of the hour here anyway. So. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, so let's hit save and next, and let's save. go to the um go to, to the communication. Save and next. Gotcha. It's right here. All right. So I so let's look at let's look at both of them. All Booking, right. and then the reminder. So you're taking phone calls, right? Actual. Yes. Okay. Yeah, if, that if they, I think I. I think I can go and edit in here somewhere. There we go. That. And on the form, you're asking for their phone number. Yes, I believe they yeah, have the phone numbers in there. Okay, good. Because I didn't, I don't, I don't remember seeing that, but I didn't, I didn't look. I can double check that. I yeah, guess we'll, we'll double check. Okay, cool. So in here, let's scroll down and see if we can look at those social media icons real quick. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I was in there. What one is this? I had a reminder one was the one that was goofy. Okay, so that's here. so I think that's all okay. Um, yeah, that's confirmation fine. one. Okay, I think all the all that was fine, I believe as well. Yeah, so that's think, that's fine. So all that looks good. Okay, perfect. It's kind of weird that you have to hit edit. <laughs> To hit, to yeah, hit, hit it, right. It should be save or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think someone missed that one at one point. So that's cool. To... Save, yeah, save it there. The the green yeah, one there. Yep. right there. And then let's look let's at this reminder. This one here. Click. Okay, so size. So does this look like it should be correct to uh yeah, there you see everything? Yeah, that looks that looks that looks okay. I wonder why it didn't show up on your end. You can always send me the yeah. test email. Yeah, see, so Central Time. That was a reminder. Yeah, that something here did not show up for some reason. Scheduled time. Let's see. Go back to Kartra. Central Time. Um, calendar next. Next. Right. I think I spell it all correctly. So did you put that there or did you copy and paste it from the dynamic variable? I can't remember. <laughs> okay. So that's what probably you probably, if you did type it there, then there's, there's the typo. What you want to do is you want to hit the dynamic variables and simply copy it, okay. copy it and paste it over there. Um, Come on. Actually, do they even have, all that I think they only have I have to copy it from so, here. So if anything, yeah, yeah, you would copy it from up there, Seven. and then and then bring it down. Oh, I think because uh, it says calendar next instead of next session date or time would it be? Do you think? Um, next session time, next session yeah. date. Probably date. I'm guessing calendar event. Because I have next in here. That's probably the next. Yeah, that's not that's what it is. That should not be there. Okay, I've but I'd get rid of the whole out. thing. I'd get I'd get rid of the whole damn thing and just copy and paste it all over. All right. Um, so, try. so I need the date. So schedule time. I would go. Yeah, go date calendar event date, and and do the the calendar event time. Okay, control V. Or just do that. Yeah, control is control oh. B. So I do it. Come on. Oh, there, there we go. Okay. 
You gotta put a comma in there, I'm sure. And then yeah. Tell anybody time? Yeah, the time would be good. All right. C and B. But I also think that that time ends up coming over in military time, if I'm not mistaken, which we'll double check. We'll we'll check. Right. And I have to put that time zone in, in there as well, you think? What I do in mine is I'll put I'll put a link to a military converter. Just I'll just mm -hmm. find a random one on Google. Yep. And that's kind of how, how I have mine, where like I'll put a space, like just put a space, hit the space bar, hit a space, hit space. Yep. And, and then, yeah, I guess you could put in the bullet point if you want. Down here, I guess, yeah. Let's do it in the bullet point. So go back, go back, do that again. <sighs> right there. And just put, put a military time converter. Military time converter. And then I'll hyperlink that. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll highlight it. I'll bold it. That's yep. one thing I do also. I bold it and then I'll, I'll link it. So hit that link. Uh, link there it is. Yeah. And then just go to Google and, and find a, a, a calendar and we'll find a basic one. Military, Military time. I use, I use that second one. I use that second one. I think it's that. I think it's that one. Yeah, it's this one. So it's just one, one simple page. That works. Then, um, but what you want to do is double click, double click, grab everything. Cause you're just grabbing the military dot. Yeah. There okay. you go. Copy all of that. Gotcha. There we control go. A control C and then back over here. Yeah. Because I think, I think that does come over in military time. So it probably does. I just put that just in case um, and then click out. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. The, and then what uh, I what I do also a lot is I because right now it's bolded black and and yep. sometimes it stays that way sometimes it's blue, but what yep. I do just just to just to make sure it's blue is I change it to blue. So military time converter the words, yep. I would just highlight it and I would change the color to blue because anytime okay. we see the the color blue, a, we we know it's, it's a hyperlink. link. Yeah, we know it's a hyperlink. So yeah, that blue right there, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Cool. So that will come over linked and they can click on that if anything. So All right, that works. Send a test. Send a test and 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 then let's let's check that. And then there's the icon. So let yeah. me I wonder why it's yeah, I was playing around with it. I could not figure out how to move it over. If anything, what you can do is um is is redo it. I mean if, if that's the case, just Yeah, you could just redo it, yeah. Redo I was it. Looking, like, I was looking in the uh where to go so yeah go back yeah templates and then go to footers i was looking in here and i and they there's not as much uh custom ability i think on for these for some reason because like i can't change out the icons oh. yeah there's only one thing that's not the one that's not i think included is is youtube and um and i think linkedin or is linkedin included i, don't I normally just use the top Twitter. Like I'll use one of the two top, the two white ones, but it's up to you. I mean, but I just, I use, end up using Facebook, one of those. Twitter, LinkedIn, and an email, I think up there. I, I get rid of the email. I just don't have an Instagram one on it. Yeah, I don't know why. How did I get an Instagram one? There was, must have been one. I think there was, I think I took this piece from a, a full template and actually had an Instagram one. So I can, I can play around with that way. I can, I can fix that. Okay. So oh, go ahead and set a test and see if that link, um, see if everything looks good. Zero, seventy. See, let's make so, sure it doesn't go into junk. Is there a way you can put not spam? Yeah, I can make it as it's not junk. Yeah, not junk. It's not junk. Okay, perfect. I could, I can add a uh, thing in my email to uh, not let it. Uh, not to block stuff from cart drive, I guess. To okay. Use. Okay. Yeah. So let's look at that and then go ahead and click on it or yeah, there goes schedule time test test test, 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 test. Perfect. Okay. Military time converter. Yep. Click on that. Make sure it's linked. Oh yeah. There Just you go. That. Perfect. Sweet. That works. Yeah. So to really see the time, obviously, you know, schedule a real call and yep. you won't see test, 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 but mm -hmm. 
that's that. All right, that's good there. Then I can fix that there. It's not, it's not that bad like that anyway, but. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I just go up here and save it then. Actually, there's a little space here. I'm going to fix that. That's better. There we go. All right, save that up. Perfect. Okay, that should fix that. Okay. So we did that. Got that and that and that. Uh, yeah, nice. what you always want to do is, is I don't okay. think it's saved. Did I go to my calendars? Yeah, it was my calendars. Let's take a look at it real quick because you yeah, might not have saved it. Button. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I might have messed, messed that up then, I think. Let's find out. He said I'm 38% done. That's good. All right, let's go save and next. Save and next. Did I break it? Let's see. Looks okay, like so it it's, looks like it's still there. That, okay, cool. Yeah, always try to get in the habit of hitting that green button. Whenever you see a green button, freaking hit that damn yep. thing. So you might not hit that. Green, save, that. save yeah. Save, okay. and then, oh, and then yeah. you yeah. want to go all the way through. So save it, and then save and next, yeah. save and next, go all the way through. Gotcha, so Just gotcha. finish it, yeah. I was getting a little ahead of myself. There we go. Cool. Okay, okay. that's been all good. Excellent. Let's not go back over the pages here. Oh, uh, land. Was it? Landing. But it should go to my uh, PDF, right? Or I think it should anyway. This right here should, yeah. So hit the hit the edit, hit that pencil. That was in. I love it, man. So there's the form. So the form's good. Okay. So is that? This whole thing right here is a form. Yes, that's a okay. form. That's the form. So they okay. download now, and then they go to the thank you page. Let's and then, I, so this. Let's see if it will. So I think I tested it out before that. I clicked download now, and when I just copied the link, and all it did was take me to a the thank you page. It didn't take me to. It didn't download anything. So, where do you have that download? You can either have it on the thank you page, which I don't suggest, or you can have it going out in the first email. Okay, so, should, uh, so would it go to, let me see. I would okay. put in the first email, that's what I would do. So let's, let's get out of here. Okay. And let's go to, let's go to the actual sequence. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do anything in there, we're okay. So that's actually, you know what, what we want to do first is let's click on, let's click on, um, on my membership, click on my memberships. And then click on files at the top. Files. Okay. So there's your, there's your link. So let's copy that and let's, let's rename it too. click on, click on the pencil. Click yeah. on the pencil and let's get rid of that two zero zero. Yeah, whatever that is in there. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's um, maybe capitalize the H, capitalize the I, capitalize the the G, yeah. and maybe get rid of seven, but leave the dot PDF. Seven. Get rid of that. Going to there. Yeah, make sure make sure it's connected though. Is that dot was that dot close to the uh I have to make it connected only. Yeah, close close it out. Close up the gap actually. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. So, okay, so let's edit that and then let's grab that link. So just hit the hit the link right there. Get link and then copy that link. Control C. Yep. And then and then let's go to my communications to the left and let's look at the sequence. So that link should be in the sequence. And you could take out that second email right there. That 
one Sorry. with the red dot. Yeah, delete that one. Anytime you see the re- a red dot like that, you want to get it out of there. Yeah. Like, gotcha, gotcha. What the heck is that delete button over here? Oops. Actually, hit actions. It would be under actions. Okay. Next, well, delete leads. Yeah, delete leads. All right. Okay, so now let's let's hover over communications and click on sequences. Communications sequences. I just want to figure out where the. Uh, where okay, the so this order. right here, this is where we're at. This this is the next to do. Is the sequence is setting up the handful of emails that are going to go out the moment that person opts in. Mm-hmm. So this is where you want to spend some time is is setting up these emails. You you don't need to set up ten of them right now, but you want to for sure get the ball rolling. Like so, so just like this diagram shows right here, they they opt into the form or they place an order or they join a list, whatever. But in this case, it's opting into a form, and it's joining a list. But the 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 one day later, send email, or immediately after send email. So in, in our for, in our case, the first email is going to be immediately. It's not going to be one day later. It's going to be immediately. And so that's what we have to set up. We have to set up these emails that immediately that's going to have, that's going to be the first email that has the, the link or the button to download the PDF. Okay. Okay. So let's hit that green button or that green square. This is where it all happens. So this is the sequence. So name of sequence. I normally name it at the I I normally name it the same name I have for the list. So whatever that list is, the name of the list, I normally name it the same. I think this home inspection leads, I think. Something similar to that, I think it was. Perfect. All right. What, what am I missing here? And then put a description. This description. Oh. This is what a person sees when they go to unsubscribe from a list. So if they ever unsubscribe, you want to kind of give them a description of what list they were even on. Okay. So I would put, thank you for downloading my home inspection guide or something like that. All right. Let me just hit create. Perfect. There you go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to, how to set, uh, set up a couple of emails. And then, and then after that, it's, it's the same, just do it again, do it mm-hmm. again, do it again, do it again. So let me take you through the first, the first step. So here's just a tutorial, just like on the, on the webpage. Yep. But um, this is something good to read. Eventually I'm going to take you through a craft course. So you're not going to have to read this right yep. now, but just hit next on all of them. But Keep it up so the next time you come in here, you can actually read each one because that way you'll mm-hmm. know it. You know, you'll know exactly the technical side of it all. But I'll show you exactly what it is, what it's all about right now. Okay, cool. So this is where it starts, man. This is where all the magic happens. Because here, here's the reality. And, it, and, it, and it's for every niche, for any offer, any PDF, whatever the hell. It doesn't matter what, what it is. If we're in the type of business where appointments is what we're shooting for home mm-hmm. inspection. That's what you're going for real estate agent. Yep. That's what they're going for me. Even in my business, I'm going for appointments. So if you're in the type of business where, where that's the objective, I'm, I'm running ads, for example, to get people to, you know, schedule an appointment with me. Here's, here's what normally happens. And it, again, it doesn't matter what business it is. It's the same all across the board. You drive traffic, meaning you run a Facebook ad to that landing page. They Mm -hmm. opt in, they go to your thank you page. And on that thank you page, it's a video getting them to schedule an appointment. What's going to happen more, a little more than half of the time. So for every 10 people, for every 10 people, you'll have maybe, you'll have maybe, let's just say, let's just say on the high end, let's just, let's just look at high, high numbers. You'll have eight that don't schedule an appointment right then and there. Yep. Two of them do. Two of them do, and that's fine. If, if I had two new appointments every day, shit, that'd be great. You know, yep. so, so that's why the good thing is you don't need all 10 of them to schedule an appointment at all. You'd be super busy. 
and, and like way too busy. So it's not yep. like we even need <laughs> that many appointments. We literally need a few every day. That would keep us doing very well, right? Oh, yeah. So so look, looking at it all, when you look at the, the small numbers, it's still enough to feed your family for sure. Mm -hmm. So let's say worst case scenario, out of 10 people that land on that thank you page and see that video with the call to action to schedule a call, eight of them don't. Yep. Two of them do, eight of them don't. That's why this sequence is so important because now those eight people, our whole objective in these emails, whether we set up five, whether we set up 10, whether we set up 15, the whole objective here is to get them to schedule that appointment. Yep. So, so the magic is in the follow-up. The magic is in the email sequence. So, so filling up the funnel, the top of the funnel, that's the Facebook ad. That's giving away the home inspection guide. But nurturing that lead and getting them to schedule an, schedule an appointment is going to happen here. Yep. So, so as long as you have you know, a ton of leads coming in every week, for example, and, and now you have a ton of leads receiving these emails from you every day, you're going to have appointments every day. Sweet. You know, so, so that, this is where it all starts right here. So, so the starting rule. The starting rule, that's where it starts. Hit that plus sign. Click. And so this is where we set it up. We can base it on, on all these different um, events, whether it's an opt-in form, a tag, a list, an order, whatever. But in your case, it's going to be, it could, you can keep it simple and just leave it on opt-in form. So the starting rule is anyone who opts in to the landing page form, those leads are in this sequence. Okay, so hit add and then hit save. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we can either do this with, with SMS, with text. So if you're asking for phone number right up front, this can happen with text, but that's not going to happen. Ask for just email. Like on that landing page, we're only asking for name and email. So this is going to be all email. So click on send email to the top left and you're going to drag it drag right it. below. Gotcha, gotcha. And drop it right below. There you go, click. right there. Okay. And you'll always want to give yourself some room, but right there is fine. And so here's how it happens. Here's how it is. It's going to be this way for every one. So the, so once we're done with this one, it's the same thing for the second one. Mm -hmm. Same okay. thing for the third one. This is the actual setup. So this email, this is email number one. We want this one to go out right after they opt in, right? Mm -hmm. So leave it like that and then just hit the green one. Hit next. Give me, give me one second, okay? Yep. That's okay. Hey, crying babies come first. Oh my gosh, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy. So this will be right after a previous step and then hit next and just go through the, go through the setup right here. So day and time, I leave it the same, just hit next and then communication. This is going to be the title of the email. So this could be right for, for example, for right now, you could just put email number one and then you could just change it later. But normally gotcha. right here in the communication, I'll put the title of the email. So email number one, hit next. And then the gateway, it's coming from that email. So if they yep. reply, they'll reply to that one. That's perfect. You can always change it, but that's, that's perfect. So hit next. Yep. And then the recipients, send if, just go ahead and hit the drop down. Anyone reaching this step. So that's what you're going to go with on that. And then just click add. And then split test is just, um, yeah, hit next single email <coughs> next and then the content and that's all it is man so okay, this right here, too hard yeah not at all and so you build it go like to advanced way. yep and then you can choose your template and then just work off of that one okay so this would be so hit design templates design templates you got all this stuff in here again yep all the stuff we know how to go through and do. Actually, go to, go to your favorites. Do you have one saved? Uh, I don't know. So my templates. Yeah, so you could just keep working off of that one. What's in here? Let's find out. That's all that one. Right? Yeah, so there's that one. You can work out of that one. And yep. I normally leave it. I normally use the same template over and over and over, over just for the, the social media icons because I don't want to keep changing those. Yep. You know, I hear you on that one. 
That takes time. So I've got all that. So this would be. So this could be email number one. But for example, yeah. what you can do is you can you can like because we're in advanced. So mm -hmm. hit to the left. Go to button. Look for the button. Oops. Button. 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 Not in there. Over here. Buttons. So yeah, yeah, so drag over stuff. a button and put that button down there. And you'll you'll edit everything at the top, but bring yeah. the bottom to the, the button to the bottom. Because yeah. that could be um oh, actually I don't know if you can drag it. You might have to just exit out and do it again. Yeah. But you can make that button be the button that they click on to download your PDF. Okay. So yeah, put it right there. Perfect. And then just edit the button. You can change yep. the color, you can change the text, and you can paste in that URL. So it goes right there. Gotcha, gotcha. It's control V. And then it's there. Okay. And then change the text. Click here to download your home inspection guide or something like that. You know, up at the top, top left, top left, top left, oh. the copy, right where it says read more. Yep. Oh, gotcha. There you go. <laughs> And then maybe turn that to, you know, change the color to your, to your red. Yep. My colors. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. Click. That's a little better. Nice. See, so then all you do is just reword everything and yep. okay. there it is there. So that will be, so they go to, so when they get to the Facebook ad and they mm -hmm. click on learn more. Mm hmm does that take, where does that take them? That's going to take them to the landing page. That takes them to the landing page, right? Yes. So my landing page, it says download now. Mm-hmm. So and right when they, right when they enter their name and email, they're going to get this email right away. This one right here? Yep. Okay. So this is going to go out immediately. Okay. After they fill out the opt-in form. So, so on the landing page, they fill out the form and they, yeah they, yeah, they click learn more and they fill out the form mm -hmm. and then it will send them this email. Yes. Which will give them a link. So it will, it will say download now on the landing page and then it'll send them this email. It'll send them the email. Okay. So send it, go ahead and send yourself a tech, a test email. Do, do. Oh, why can't I do it? I have to hit save. Why can't I do it? It won't let me. The reason for it, you got to put a um, subject line. Oh. No test for now, I guess. There we go. Test email. Send a test. And where's my email at? Is on my jump one still? Probably. Nope, not yet. There, hey, it came to my inbox that time. There we go. That's good. So now click on that red button and see if you Get the... download the PDF. Hey, there, there it, is. it is. There. Nice. Okay. Yes, man. Sweet. So that's the first email that would go out instantly, <laughs> and then now yep. we just work on email number two and on. So. Hey. Let's how many um, emails I would send out even. X out of that, and then and then let's let's go let's finalize this part real quick. So yeah, come back in and edit that obviously, and then go to the very top and click the green one. Oh, there it is. Hit next. Okay, and then create. So that's it. That's how you set up an email in in the sequence that, that is. So now yeah. we're gonna, it's gonna bring us back over here. We're gonna click on the three dots. We're gonna activate. No, there you go. Activate. Then we're gonna connect the two gray half moons, the, the top one to the, to the bottom one. Yeah, there you go. Just actually, no, not, no, 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 no. Down, 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 yeah. Give yourself some room. All right. Let's because what you wanna, here. yeah, there you go. Yeah, put it way down there. Yeah, perfect. Connect the, you should be able to draw a line. 
There you go, right there, right there, right there. Click, drag, okay. perfect. There we go. That looks like fun. Yeah, man. And then, and then you can arrange them. So just hit yep. that arrange that uh, button at the top. So you have that um, circle with the with the like hamburger looking thing. Circle the hamburger. Very top in the black header and the black bar up there to the left, to the left, Is it? left, right there. Oh, that thing. You can arrange <laughs> icons and now just kind of bring everything close. Okay. And, and now, now, and this, all you do is go to the, to the top left, send email and do it again and then connect okay. it, do it again, connect it. And you can set up as many as you want in 1000 emails. I get <laughs> you can, <laughs> but what you want to do for sure is set up at least seven. Like I would break down that PDF and that, and that's what you want to do in these, in these emails is break down the book, break down the PDF, yep. like maybe go into more detail of different topics mm -hmm. or different paragraphs or different um, um, chapters or different bullet points. Yeah. Like that's what I would do in my emails. In fact, that's what I do do in my emails. Like mm -hmm. in my, in my PDF, for example, I'm, I'm teaching five steps. So yep. there's these five specific steps. Um, and they're all the steps that I took you through step one, all your links, step mm -hmm. two, getting a few thousand likes on the business page, step three, introducing yourself and, and running a Facebook ad to your local market. Mm -hmm. And then now step four, we're on Kartra landing pages. And then step five, email automation. So in mm -hmm. my free download, I'm, I'm teaching these five steps. And so in my emails, I'm just simply breaking down these five steps in video. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm just kind of just giving more value, more value, breaking down each step and showing them in video form. And, and that's my, that's my email. So in my case, to tell you the truth, I have five emails, five yeah. in my sequence here. But what I tend to do is add more often. Like now I think I'm at like, like 11. It started with five, but now I just keep adding more because why not? Like I want to stay on topic and I can keep talking about that topic until the freaking moon comes out. Yep. So in your case with you can too. So yep. I would just start, start with five or start with seven, break down different parts of the PDF mm -hmm. and then just start adding more to it. Start adding more to it because people you want, these emails to tell you the truth, you want them to go on forever. So mm -hmm. you're not going to set up 17 of them right now, but, but maybe set up a handful and just keep coming back and adding more to it because I'm going to keep sending these people emails and I'd rather it be in an automated format because I don't want to yep. physically email anybody. I so I'd rather just set it all up in here, load them all up in here. It's all automated, load it all up, add more, add more, add more, add more. And as, as new people come in, they'll get email number one, they'll get email number two and they're not going to stop until they get to email number 27 eventually, yep. you know? So I would keep adding because a person, the whole objective is to either get you to schedule a call or to yep. get you to unsubscribe. Yep. Either one. Either one. So, so I've done I that have, a lot. I've, yeah, I've always subscribed a lot from a lot of other, yeah, every, yeah, you, every you month have. I try to do that. Yeah. So, so, and, and then, and then let's say for example, you set up 11 emails and let's say on the ninth one, let's say on the ninth one, that lead actually schedules an appointment. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a whole another email list. So not, not exactly a sequence, but an email list. So for example, if there's 11 emails that are here and that lead schedules an appointment on email number nine, yep. then we're going to set up an automation where they're automatically off of this sequence and added to the other list. Gotcha, gotcha. Because if they, if they schedule an appointment on, on email number nine, they don't need to receive 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep. Right? Because in those emails, all I'm trying to do is get them to schedule the call, but they've already scheduled a call. They did it on email number nine. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, so now the system will automatically, as long as we program it that way, which I'll show you how to do, but it will automatically unsubscribe them from this sequence and add them to a different list. Gotcha. So in, in that case, it will be scheduled appointments. So that list Every, anyone who schedules an appointment on your calendar, we already have it set up right now to go to that list, scheduled appointments, Yep. right? That's another list that you have in here, right? I'm pretty sure you do. So we can set up the automation where anyone who lands on the scheduled appointment list unsubscribe mm -hmm. from the sequence. That's an automation. Yep. Yeah, you because know, they don't need so, to uh, see the rest of those. Yes. So we'll set that up real, real quick right now as well. But that's, that's all you do. So now you're just going to grab send email, drag it down, and work mm -hmm. on email number two. Drag it down, yep. work on email number three. 
That so pretty, pretty let's, easy. yeah, let's get out of here real quick. Hit done and exit. You can always come back, but let's set up this yeah. automation real quick. Click on, click on, um, hover over leads at the top and click on list. Let me make sure you have that list, which is the schedule here point. Quick. My communications and it's up there on the communications. This part's kind of buried in here a little bit. Drag that zoom bar. You can move that over. The zoom bar. This over here. Are you looking at the zoom bar? Is the zoom bar in the way? No, I was just writing down a oh, okay. note here of how to get back to gotcha. Uh, gotcha. this part. Okay. Yeah, that's sequences. Okay. All right. So if you hover over leads to the left of that and then click on list. Leads, leads, leads. Leads at the very top. Oh, up there. Okay. And click on list. So you, you should have two lists at this point. There we go. Okay, perfect. So these are our two lists. And it's only the second list that we have tied to a sequence. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set up an automation for anyone who lands on the scheduled appointments, unsubscribe, yep. not from this list, but unsubscribe from the sequence. Yep. Okay. So now hover over communications and click on automations. Automations. Okay, perfect. So this right here is is magic, man. This this automation. <sighs> once you really start to build out this stuff, this mm -hmm. automation is 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 gold. So click on the green uh, square there, automation. And this is all it is, man. If this happens, then do this. Yep. Right. Very straightforward. So if and then hit the drop down. If lead subscribes to list. Let's go with that one. And there's many different options, but we'll, we'll go with that one. If lead subscribes to the scheduled appointments, yep. click and on then, add, yep, and. then unsubscribe them, unsubscribe, no, not from list, unsubscribe, scroll down, unsubscribe oh. from sequence. Okay. And, and there's more down there. Yep. There's a ton of them, but these are the main ones. Yeah, so unsubscribe from that sequence. Click add. Sweet. So you got 11 emails set up. That person, that lead schedules an appointment on email number three. Mm -hmm. They're automatically unsubscribed because yep. now, now they're on the scheduled appointment list and yep. no longer need to be on the home inspection lead sequence. That is true. So click on save. And, and, and the same horrible. thing, the same, the same concept applies for Facebook ads, right? Mm -hmm. When they opt in and they download that inspection guide and they land on the thank you page, that yep. thank you page we have set up as a custom audience. Yep. So as we go and run future ads, we're going to always make sure we exclude that custom audience from ever mm -hmm. seeing another ad. Cool. So very similar, you know? So yep. that's that part. That's automations. What else do we got? That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. So here's what I would recommend. Work on those sequences. You want to get yep. up at least a handful before we run an ad. Mm -hmm. It's at least set up maybe three, four, five of them before, before you set up an ad. And, and in each email, the first email, let's go back to it real quick. Sequences at the top. Click on sequences. Here's what you want to do. Let, let, let's, let's, let's look at email number two real quick. Let's go back in, hit the pencil, hit edit. Here's the whole concept for email number two and on. Email number one was to send them that first initial email to download their copy. But mm -hmm. email number two and on, the whole objective there is to schedule an appointment. So now okay. what we can do, yeah, go through this part. Let's click on send email at the top and um, drag it down. Let's drop it below and let's just name this one email number two. And, and so just to give you an example, as you can clearly see right, right here, the first one's email number one. Yep. So what I always advise is name that email number one, name it the subject line of the email. Because yep. as we come in here and we look at the 30,000 square foot view of 10 emails, I can look at each one and know the subject line. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but if I don't name it the subject line, I'm not going to know really what email that was until I freaking click into it and go into yep. the damn freaking email and look at the whole damn thing, which is time consuming. Yep. I want to be able to look at it from here, from this view and look at each email and be like, okay, cool. That's the home inspection one. That's the, this one, that's the, this one, you know what I mean? So email number two is what you'll name this one for now, but 
in the future, once you know the subject line, change it to the subject yeah. line. So in this case, what, what we want to do is so we want to wait a day. We want to wait two days. Yep. So let's wait one day. So wait a number of days and let's send one out. We can send one out every day or we can send one out every other day. I have yep. both. There's some of my sequences where I send out. I'll send out e either every day. I'll send out every other day or I'll send out every three days. It just, mm -hmm. It's just preference. But yep. um, one day is fine. That's perfect. So next and then next and then the communication that's email number two but again to change it to where yeah, it should be make sure you always have it as, as a subject line so that's email number two for now and then next the gateway there's that email fine. you're fine next and then the recipients here and, and here so send if and then just go anyone reaching the step normally i'll i'll choose that one anyone reaching the step on the first couple emails but for from email number three and on, for example, I'll choose. Actually, you know what? Let me let me show you now. Let me show you now. X out of that. Anyone reaching this step? X out. No, 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 no. The, yeah, that one. That one. X yeah. out of that. So from email number three and on, hit the select, hit the drop down. I'll normally choose subscribed to list. So from email number three and on. Sometimes people already uh, will already be unsubscribed by this point, mm -hmm. right? So I don't want to just send it to them if they're already unsubscribed from the list. Yep. So that's when I'll start putting in the putting in these types of um, triggers, where email number three and on, I'm going to go with subscribe to the list. So as long as they're still subscribed to the original list, mm -hmm. then they'll continue to get these emails. Makes so sense. why don't you just do that now? Do that now from email number two and on. If they're still subscribed to the lead, the lead one, hit that drop down, select list. If they're still subscribed to that one, then okay, cool. They're going to continue to get these emails. So yeah, get in the habit of, of the email number two and on. Okay, so hit next. Single email. And then single email. And then here goes the actual content and such. We are still there. Okay. <laughs> so in this case, you can use, you can go advanced and then use yep. that template. But here's, here's kind of what I wanted to point out on, on this one is that now from email number two and on our whole objective is to get them to schedule a call. Mm -hmm. So that red button that you linked your PDF to, yep. we, we now want to link it to the calendar. Yep. This so hit design templates and then just grab my template, grab your, the heart one, grab that one. And just, I would just keep using the same one over and over and over, mm -hmm. but, but add that button and then, um, and then, and then maybe add a button, turn it red, and then maybe save that as the template. So scroll down, scroll down, grab that button, drag it over, um, click here to schedule your home inspection or click here to schedule a call or anything like that. And then, and then save this template. You, so that URL, um, whenever you're linking a button in an actual page, yep. then you can link it directly to the calendar. But when you're linking a button in an email, you actually need the link. So you're going to need your calendar link to put it, to put here. So here. edit the button, maybe put click here to schedule your home inspection or click here to schedule the call or whatever your, whatever your call to action is. It helps if I can spell that correctly. Something like that. Where'd that go? Click you. So to get my okay, so now you'll need your calendar link. Calendar link. Which is right here. Perfect. Yeah, there's my calendar. Awesome. So just double click up there, grab the whole thing. HTTPS. Actually, not the not that PL4P. I don't know why that that by default I see that on my side too. So it's everything but that. There you go. That whole link. It probably takes like <laughs> 10 hours just to get through one yes, section. Man. <laughs> yes. 
So now there is, is a link. So from email number two and on, that's the freaking mm-hmm. goal. The goal is to get them to schedule a call. Yeah, get a call, get a call, get a call. You know? I, can, I can talk to them on the phone and yep. if they yep. have questions about the inspection or want to and maybe, inspection. And maybe even, even, even changing out the images because that's what I do too. Yep. So I use the same template, but I'll change out my images. Yep. I'll change out yep. the text, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe, maybe instead of thank you, um, and, and then maybe instead of thank you, you could put click here to schedule your call or click here to schedule an inspection yep. and you can even link the image. Okay. So whatever, you know, just getting cha- tweaking it up a little bit mm-hmm. is all I'm saying, you know, maybe different pictures mm-hmm. on different ones would be cool too. That's nice. a great picture right there. I mean, shit, that's a really good yeah, picture right there, but changing it up could, uh, could be. The dog's be- better looking than me though. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. That's you look fun. good right there, man. Great, great professional looking picture. Great background. Yep. I love it. I had you a professional photographer come out. Did you? Yeah, yep. man. Looks good. So changing out that image every now and then would be cool. Yep. But, but that's, that's it, man. Is, is writing out a few of the images and referencing the book. That's what I would mm-hmm. do. Yep. Referencing different pages in the book um, and just going into more detail um, and just oh. nurturing that lead and just getting them to schedule the call. Yeah, I can go through that and and uh, and then three dots and then activate, activate and then just connect it. Connect it. Connect yeah. it and then and then arrange it. Boom. That's cool. Yeah, man. There it is what? there. And so I would just keep taking that down, man. Right now, obviously just work on a few, but yep. as time goes on, just keep adding to it. Keep adding it to mm-hmm. it. Keep adding to it. Because now that you have the automation set up, it's like, man, it's either it's either going to schedule a call or they're going to freaking continue to get these emails or they're going to unsubscribe eventually. But I'm at sure least you you're staying top of mind. I'm sure you can see the uh, whole blueprint of all of how all this stuff works in your mind. Yeah, you can, yeah. I, I so I'm, it's, start, it's a little bit muddy for me right now, but I'm, no, still, you'll I'm, get start, it. I'm starting to see it. Saying, yeah. once, I, once I can kind of visualize it in my brain, it's like I'm very good with like maps and directions. Yeah. Like if I just look at a map, I can tell, I can figure out where I'm going like 95% of the time without using the map at all. I can just memorize Dang. it. But oh, see, uh, so that's, like, that's, that's something great. like this, once I start seeing this and I can actually start building it in my head, like, okay, once someone does this, it goes here, it goes here, it goes here, it goes here. I can, I can remember all that once I actually yeah. figure it all out. <laughs> yeah. That's why I try to jump on these calls, man, or at least watch mm-hmm. the replay because that's going to really help you understand the platform even more. Uh, or definitely a lot more seasoned than I was a month ago. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm going to, I'll send you emails too, man. I'll send you different trainings, different tutorials on, mm-hmm. on how I'm setting up everything. So check out for my emails as well. Sweet, sweet. But work on this part, work on a few of these, like write them out, like actually get, get into it and, and write out mm-hmm. a few emails. And then, and then I think our next step is to, is to start an ad, man. Yeah, man, we're getting awfully, uh, Cl- close here yeah super close super <sighs> close we gotta start filling up this lead list right here man yeah that'd be pretty sweet yes i did, uh, I did put a uh i got a video on the uh, thank you page now nice man nice so, and then maybe maybe add like a little one-liner you know check spam the email will be spam, titled yeah, yep. you yep, know I maybe that uh i got that on my notes here to fix that Perfect. I said, hey, check your junkie or spam folder if you don't see something like right away. Yeah. Not uh, good stuff. So, but other than that, okay. I, I got enough to work on for a little while again. So. Yeah, man. So, knock that out, and let's let's talk sooner than later, man. We want we got to get these ads out. Oh yeah, I'll be. We're definitely getting. Cl- I can see the finish line. I thought we were yes. closer. I thought we were closer <laughs> to the finish line than we were. Now I got more stuff to do, but. <laughs> This, this okay. part's a little time consuming up front, but mm-hmm. after you have it all done, man, which you're, yep. you're almost there, it's like yep. it becomes just a, a machine and all you got to do is put gas in the machine and it runs. Yep. It I kind of, yeah, put money in the machine. <laughs> put money in the machine, right? <laughs> yep. Gas is money. Yep, that is true. So, all yes, right. Yeah, man. definitely uh, appreciate the help on, on sure. uh, this call here to, I, I, was, I was trying to figure out how is this, how is that back end stuff going to work now? I can actually see how it's going to work, so. Heck yeah. And, and just check cool. for my emails because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start sending you some tutorials of how I'm doing stuff. Okay. Sounds good. So, All right. so just schedule the call sooner than later. Yep. Sounds good. Well, thanks Sounds for the good, help boss. today.
Yes, I gotta sir. Get my, uh, I got to get my back cracked now going to the chiropractor. <laughs> nice. Sounds fun. Right on, uh, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Sounds good. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye.